Hello everyone. Today in this uh, video, we'll be solving the question of day two. So this is uh, from the Facebook Hacker Cup 2021, the first question. Okay. So let's uh, first understand what the question is. It's a very easy one. So in this uh, question, uh, Connie receives a string S for her birthday, consisting enter entirely of uppercase letters. Okay, like A to Z. So what are the possibilities? Connie can receive any string like um, in capital letters. So D F R uh, D F R T can be a possible string. C H G F G. Okay, like that. Any string can be there. Okay. So it consists of the capital letters, uh, and uh, each one is a string. Okay. So that's given in the first sentence, and the uh, condition is: However, Connie uh, really likes only nice, consistent strings. She considers a string to be consistent if and only if all of its letters are the same. Okay. If all of the letters are the same, then only it's uh, considered as a uh, consistent string. For example, A A A A, okay, or B B B B, like C C C or D, or even F, okay. So uh, when all the letters in the uh, string are same, that is considered as a consistent string, okay. And uh, each second, Connie may choose um, one letter in S and replace it with a different letter, okay. So she can choose any letter here, like uh, for example D F R T, okay. She can choose any letter like D or F or R or T, okay. and she can replace it with any other letter okay for example if we want to convert this string dfrt into a consistent one either we can have uh, dddd or um f f f f r r r r or tt tt okay these are the possible strings which you can form by changing these letters okay so what does coni do is it will take uh, one second for changing one letter and the rule is she can change the vowel into a consonant or consonant into a vowel okay like for example if um, there is a consonant here she can't change any other consonant into consonant okay if we plan to change all the letters into d what we have to do first is see here if you want to change all these letters into d okay d will be remaining d only okay and we want to change f into d first f will be converted to any vowel that will take one second then it will be converted into the uh, consonant same goes for r also r is a consonant so r will be changed to vowel then to the consonant then t also will be uh, changed to some vowel then it will uh, then it will be changed to consonant okay so it will take 4 seconds not for 2 4 6 6 seconds it will take okay so this is our program we have to generate the um, minimum time taken means uh, there are many possibilities right i can change uh, for this like f also d will be converted to f okay 2 uh, 2 seconds because it's a consonant and f will be remaining same r will be converted to f t will be converted to f okay or if some letter repeats here like a t uh, we have here t t so it will take more uh, lesser time because it's uh, already there so 2 seconds will be saved here so we will be changing these three letters into we will be changing these three letters into t okay that will take less time so let's see how to approach this question and we just have to determine how much uh, is the minimum number of seconds required to change s into any consistent string okay and here are the constraints means we can have 45 string uh, testing and the s uh, the string length is um, 100 so in uh, in one string we can have 100 letters that's the max value and the s has the letters a to z okay s has the letters from a to z and th uh, those are all capital okay so in the input we'll have the integer t denoting the number of test cases and uh, and for each test case we'll have a string s okay so let's see a possible um, sample input here we have the number of strings 6 okay these are the strings which are inserted a b c f banana f b h c f o x e n consistency okay for each we have the output here let's uh, discuss the sample input and the output here what we can do a b c is there right so we can convert b into a and c into a so it will take 1 second 1 second it will take 2 seconds f is already there we did, uh, we need not convert if there is a single letter so it will be zero if uh, banana is here uh, a is getting repeated thrice so we just have to convert b into a n into a and n into a it will take 3 seconds in the same way it goes for the rest of the uh, words also okay so let's uh, see how to approach this question but before that let uh, let me discuss this one and uh, here what we have is c is repeated uh, twice s is repeated twice and n is also repeated twice okay here what we have to do either we have to convert all the letters into vowel or all the letters into uh, consonant here since n is repeated twice and uh, s and c all are consonants we can go for consonants here okay if i convert all these letters into um, 
consonant like um, c c will be remaining c only for converting o into c one second n will be converted to c in two seconds because it's a consonant first it will change to vowel then to consonant okay two seconds then here s will be converted to c in two seconds like that if you calculate all we'll get 12 okay so let's uh, discuss how to write the code of this um, problem and first let me show you the final output okay so this is the code here we'll if you run this program we'll see the final output first it will ask me to enter the number of strings okay the number of strings is uh, i'm entering as six okay so um we'll be entering the strings a b c which is the first string After entering 6, we will have to enter the inputs. So, the inputs are the follows means um, ABC. If I enter ABC here, I will be entering in small letters because that is how I wrote the code, but that uh, does not matter much. So, I will get the output as 2. Okay. And if I write F, the output is 0. Then, if I write banana, the output is 3. FBHC, 4. Foxen, 5. And consistency. Okay, 12. So, this is how the program works. Now, let us uh, see the uh, coding part. It is uh, pretty simple. First, uh, what we have to do is, let me explain you the approach of this question. Okay. How, sh uh, how can we approach the question? Now, see here, first we will have a string. Okay. Here we have a string. Okay. So, suppose that the string is n, u, m, p, y okay numpy and uh, what we will be comparing is we will be comparing each letter like uh, finally how many possibilities we have all the uh, letters are converted to either a or all the letters are converted to b or like that we will have till like uh, possibility till z okay all the letters finally will become z these are the 26 possibilities we have and for each possibility we will be calculating the sum okay let us uh, see for the uh, first three what is the sum if i have to convert n into a how much time it will take one second okay one plus if i have to convert u into a first u will be converted to some consonant and then it will be converted to a um, vowel which is a okay like for example u will be converted to first uh, t then t will be converted to a because direct we can't convert u to a okay that's the rule so here it will take two seconds plus m will be converted to a in one second plus p will be converted to a in one second and uh, similarly y will also be converted to a in one second okay and we'll uh, calculate how much it is one two three four five six it is taking 6 seconds for converting all the letters to A. Okay. In the same way, we will check for B now. N is a consonant and B is also a consonant. It will take 2 seconds then. Okay. Because first it should get, uh, convert it to vowel, then to consonant. Okay. U to B is 1. And these 3 are the consonants. So, it will each take 2 seconds. 2 plus 2 plus 2. Okay. How much time it is? 2 for the 8 plus 1, 9. Okay. So, it is taking 9 seconds. Similarly, for Z also it will take 9 seconds. Okay. So, in that way we can uh, see how much um, time each one is taking and we can uh, have a counter for like minimum sum and we will output the minimum sum for each case. Like this is the first string, we will output the sum, then the second string will output the minimum sum. Okay. So, let us see the code part of it. In the coding part, uh, we have included the header file and using namespace, uh, namespace std and this is the int main okay if i show you the code this is the code okay it's simple we have one um, array here of uh, all the alphabets and i'm just showing you the overview okay and here we have if else statement for checking if it's the uh, vowel or not each letter okay so let's uh, start from here here i'm initializing some um, variables for storing the values like sum min sum and all we'll come back to it and here I have the string, first uh, getting the string, first I will uh, create an array of all the alphabets like A, B, C, D till Z. And we have the, uh, we will output like enter the number of strings, we, that will be stored in N. Okay. 
So that many number of iteration should happen. So I'll have a while loop here, and in each uh, while loop we'll take a string st. Okay. So that, um, for example, in this case we'll take numpy. Okay. When we take numpy here, that will be stored in st, and minimum sum will be initialized as 999. Okay. And after that uh, we are um, running a for loop for each letter in the alphabet. So first it will be for a, then b, then c, then d till z. Okay. This is the outer for loop. Okay. Why we are doing this? Because uh, we have to check for each letter. Like uh, here, we'll check all a. Okay, for all a, then for all b, for all c till z. Okay, for that we are uh, writing this for loop here for each letter in alphabet. First alphabet, uh, first letter will be a. Then it will become b, then c till z. And uh, what we are checking is if s of one is equal to null. What is s of one? S of one means whatever uh, letter we enter here. Like for example, if I enter just one letter in the string, like f. Okay. In this case, we need not change anything, right? Because it's one letter only. And how can we check st of one? This is the string here. String will be stored in this way. Here we'll have the null character. If only one letter is there, index of zero will have that letter, and index of one will have null. Okay. So if index of one is null, that means only one letter is there. At that time, you have to output zero. Okay. Minimum sum will be zero, and it will break out of the loop. Else, if it's uh, more than one letter, we have to calculate the sum. Sum for each letter means for changing n to a, n to u, uh, u to a, m to a, like p and y to a. Okay, that is for the letter a. Then for the letter b, then till letter z will check. Okay, so here we have the sum zero, and this for loop is running from uh, zero to the each letter. So we are accessing each letter now. Like first it will be n, then u, then m, then p, then y. Okay, and what we are checking is if the letter is a vowel or not. Okay, first we are checking if it's a vowel or not. Means letter means not uh, this one, um, not uh, this one. We are checking the letter. Letter means which we have taken here from among this one. Firstly, we will take the letter as A, so we will be checking with A. Okay, if uh, the letter which is uh, currently being uh, compared that is uh, the vowel or not. Okay, means it's A or it's E or it's I or it's O or it's U. After checking if it's vowel, we will perform the following line of code. Okay, this one. We'll be performing this uh, line of code. Okay, if it's a vowel, else if the letter chosen is like, for example, in the next iteration, we'll have uh, to check for B. Okay, for if it's all B or not. For that, we will have the letter as B. Then we'll have for C D. Okay, first uh, we'll be um, doing for the vowel. Then we'll be doing for the consonant. Okay, in this case, we're running this loop. Okay, and what we'll be checking st of i is equal to letter or not. What is st of i? St of i is num here because that's the first letter. N is equal to letter or not? N is equal to A. Letter was A. It's not. If it's equal, then we uh, need not perform any sum, right? Why? Because if it's the same letter, like for example here also it was A. Okay. We need not change anything. So that time at the, uh, the time taken will be zero seconds. So we'll have sum is equal to zero. Okay. Plus is equal to zero. Else, if uh, it's a letter, means it's a vowel. At that time, what uh, we have to do? Like for example, here it is not a, but here the first letter was o. Okay, instead of n, we had o, and this also a vowel. At that time, how much time it will take? We are checking for a with o. It will take two seconds. Okay, so sum plus is equal to two. Else, if it's a consonant, it will take one uh, one second. Like n, n can uh, directly be converted to a. Okay, so here it will take one second. That was for the letters which are like a, e, i, o, u. Okay. If you are checking for the letters of um, vowels like a a a and i i i e e e o o o u u u, okay. In those letters, this is the code which will be running. And the remaining letters like consonant, if you have like for example, if you have b, we are checking for b, okay. This sum will be calculated and stored here, okay. For the next iteration, we'll have b. We'll calculate sum for b. How can we do that? In that, we'll check if it's the same letter, the first letter which is b. Is this also b? No, it's not. So this is n here. N means a consonant. If it's uh, not a consonant, we'll take one um, iteration. Means, for example, what I'm trying to say is, if here instead of n we had like uh, any vowel, like i, okay, and we are comparing with b, converting uh, i to b will take one second. So I've written here plus is equal to one. Else, if it's not a vowel, means in this case it's b, uh, it's n. N is also consonant. B is also consonant. It will take two seconds. Okay. In that way, I'll calculate the total sum, and after that, finally, what we have is, I'll uh, see if the sum is less than minimum sum. 
Initially, minimum sum will be 999. So obviously, whatever sum uh, we will have here, that will be less than that. So that will be assigned to minimum sum. And in next iteration, I'll again calculate if the next sum is more minimum. If it's more minimum, then I'll update that. Okay. In that way, after first iteration, means for the first string, this is for the first string. After checking for all the alphabets, this uh, loop gets over and I will be outputting the minimum sum. Okay. And after outputting the minimum sum, I'll restart the values of minimum sum as 999 and I'll take the next string. Okay. In that way, we will do for all the strings and we'll output the minimum sum. Okay. So this all what was there in this code and thank you for watching and you can find the uh, link of this code in the uh, description box. We have, I have put the uh, GitHub link and thank you for watching and see you in the next one.